Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak again. In this video I'm going to talk about a denitrification and I'm going to show you how to make a biocenosis clarification basket. These are the parts you're going to need to make a basket. I got the container at uh, the container store and this is just one of the baskets I found that fit into the sump opening, the middle sump opening of the SCA aquarium. And though it came with holes in it, I'm just drilling more holes into the basket. It's about three inches by 11 inches long by about six inches high. And it had no holes at the bottom. So with a step drill, I'm drilling into the bottom of the basket and I will be drilling into the side. A step drill, you can buy step drills at Harbor Freights. They cost about $15 for a set of three or sometimes you can buy them on sale for about five bucks. Uh, this is what a step drill is. And it cuts through plastic real good. And like I said, you can get these at Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. Anywhere from five to $15. Anyhow, you have to make a container to hold the kitty litter and laterite, and that needs to be open. And this is the only thing I can find. So, in order to keep it open, I had to drill a whole lot of holes in it at the bottom and in the sides so water can pass in and out of it easily. And this is the only way I found to, de to do denitrification. There are some products out there that were made called uh, bio denitrification filters by Sera, And they really didn't go over very big because they depended on the flow of water going through the filter very slowly. Some of them depended on uh, a sugar glucose uh, additive and a biosinosis clarification basket does not depend on that and as you can see I drilled more holes into this basket than it originally came with it took me about an hour to do that anyhow this will be the basket that we are going to fill with kitty litter now I have all the inserts. This is just a plastic craft screen that you can buy. I pre-cut it already to fit inside there. This is so when you pour the kitty litter in and laterite, it doesn't come out the holes. And of course in the ponds, the baskets are like seven by seven by six high. They're bigger. But for aquarium use, we can get by with using a smaller basket because in the sump there's not very much room. I think there's 16 inches long by only 4 inches wide and you can go about uh, 7 inches high on the basket. And what I'm using here is a special kitty litter. It's just a natural clay cat litter that's been baked and uh, this is laterite. I still have some left. Apparently this is hard to find, the laterite. But the special kitty litter is just a Walmart brand. This is not the kind that gets mushy or disintegrates. This has been baked at high temperatures. And the reason we're using kitty litter because it has a crystalline structure to it, which attracts ions out of the water body. As the ions come by, it attracts them. And this is just something that uh, I found is the only thing that really works. Another thing about making one of these baskets and putting it in your sump is it does not clog up. And that's the problem with bile denitrification uh, where you would make a container where water would flow through it very slowly. They clog up or they're too touchy trying to get the water to go at the right weight. But if you make one of these BCB baskets using kitty litter. As you see, the kitty litter almost looks like just stones. And that's what it is. It's just practically stones. But because it attracts the 
positive ion out of the water, uh, it will grow a specialized bacteria called facultative anaerobic heterotrophic bacteria. This will take about 45 to 60 days for that bacteria to grow. So you can't rush it once you make the basket and put it in your sump. It takes quite a while for it to get established. But uh, there is some research done in Italy by a Dr. Franco where he placed some of these baskets in his tank with goldfish and it made a significant difference in his uh, nitrates and phosphates because it reduced both of them. And this filter will not clog. So in other words, when you make up this basket and put it in your sump, 30 years from now, it's still going to be working. I've had people not believe me. I pulled baskets out of my pond that were over 10 years old. The hobbyist was right there watching me. We tore it apart. There was no blackening of the soil. There was no rotten egg smell. There was nothing. And that's what you're going to get with this because it attracts ion through diffusion of ions. And because of the crystalline structure, it will attract it where the bacteria can take hold of it. Now, if you want, you can put plants in this basket and make kind of like a, a, a refrugum if you want, but there's no need to put plants. But if you do, you can actually plant up the basket. Here I got the basket about halfway full of kitty litter. And the next step will be to put the laterite. Now the laterite is being used because of the iron. Plus it's also clay. So as you see, you just sprinkle in the laterite. Or you can use something else that has iron. It has to have iron because iron is important for the bacteria to become established. Okay. And that's why you need the iron in there. It helps the bacteria to establish because bacteria, when it's new, uses a lot of iron to establish itself. And that's why you're putting this in there. Once the basket is up and going, you don't need it. It's not as important. You'll just get it from the, the existing water going in and out of it. But for the initial startup, you're going to have to add iron in some way to the basket. And it also, if you were going to plant this up and put some plants in it, put a light in your sump, you would do it the same way, but just plant your plants in the center of the basket and still have the iron. But uh, this is the way we do it for ponds. And if you watch some of my video on the ponds, how they, the plants profusely grew and the flowering without ever using uh, nitrate fertilizer at all. No fertilizers are ever used. And of course, setting up the basket is pretty easy. This is it. This is now called a biosinosis clarification basket. That's the name I named it. And you just fill it up with kitty litter. Now this allows water to move in and out of it. That's why you have all the holes. Very slowly and at the right rate for the denitrification facultative bacteria to grow in it. Because it doesn't clog, because it's not forcing water through it, it, that's the reason it doesn't clog. It's not forcing water through it, where denitrification filters force water through it. Once the basket is completely made up, you just clean it off. Try to get as much of the micro dust out of there before you put it in your tank. You're still going to get some dust in your tank, but uh, this is going to try to eliminate most of it. And as you see, it just looks like normal substrate, doesn't it? And it's not melting, it's not turning into a solid because this has been baked and everything. Then I cap it off with more of that screen. And now this is ready to be put into a sump. Now because the sump is so narrow and only about four inches wide, this basket's about three inches wide, so it will fit perfect. And there it is in the sump. A little bit of the gravel came out. Those are Mexican pebbles sitting on top, so the screen doesn't float up. But 
that's not going to hurt anything. Getting a little bit of kitty litter and the sump like that, that's not going to hurt anything. Yes, it did cloud up the tank, but it only took about an hour, two hours. tank was perfectly clean and clear. If you have a goldfish tank and do this, it will actually be very beneficial to the goldfish. But what do you, why I'm putting this basket in here, the anoxic filter. Now this is, becomes an anoxic filter is because it will take care of nitrates and phosphates. But also if you have delicate fish, you do want to keep your water as clean as possible, especially with disc or with goldfish. A lot of people think goldfish are very hardy, but goldfish are not very hardy. They are uh, very uh, weak fish, actually. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Dr. Kevin Novak.